two more problems for the weekend homework solving multi-step equations which involve the distributive property. So let's go ahead and get started on these. Now the first thing I have is I'm going to take a look at what's going on here and on the left side I have a negative 4 times this in the parentheses. Now here's something that I've always allowed you to do. You can always swap out these other letters, J's, A's, N's, whatever, with an X if you so desire and I'll go ahead and do that in this video. So I'm going to have negative 4 times 8 is negative 32 and then I have negative 4 times a positive 5n, which is a negative 20n. So negative 20, I'm going to go ahead and write x because it's much easier to do on this little pen I'm using. Okay, is equal to 8. Alright, so there we go. Now I just want to continue on with what I'm doing. To solve an equation, my job is to get this x by itself. So I need to do the opposite and inverse operations uh, to do so. So this is a negative 32, I want to get rid of it. Well, the opposite is to add 32, so exactly that. I'm going to add 32 to both sides. Now, eventually, you're going to get away from writing it like this, as you see me doing a few times, because I really encourage mental math. It's going to help you in your later math courses. So negative 20x is equal to a positive 40. Inverse of multiplying is division, so I'm going to divide by negative 20. That, of course, gets me a 1 in front of that x, which was my goal, and that comes out to be a negative 2. All right? So that is my solution, and this is showing all your proper work uh, for partial credit, etc., that I expect on quizzes and tests. All right, moving on. So this one is a little bit more complicated. I picked one of the later problems just for that reason. So I have the distributive property twice that I have to deal with. Let's just do one at a time. I'm not going to worry about this right now. I have this negative 3 in the front, I have to distribute to here and here. Well, negative 3 to a positive 3x is going to be a negative 9x, which is exactly what I write. And a negative 3 to a positive 15 is going to be a negative 45. I write that right there. And as I stated in the previous video, this one is a negative 1 right here. We don't write our 1s. So I have to distribute that negative 1 to here, that would be a negative 10. And to here, that would be a negative x, negative 1x. And there's my equal to 35. Let's go ahead and clean this up before I uh, try and figure out what to do next. So I'm going to combine like terms. I combine my x's. I have a negative 9, negative 1. So I have a negative 10 of them. I have a negative 45 and a negative 10, which is a negative 55, is equal to 35. Next thing I do is I want to get rid of this by adding the opposite. The opposite of negative 55 is a positive 55, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now that's 80 plus 10, so that's 90. And I have a negative 10x. And inverse operation, I'm going to divide by 10 on both sides. Negative 10, that gives me a positive 1. And I have x is equal to negative 9. All right. So that is it. Those are two videos that um, I'm going to upload and uh, put that into Schoology and YouTube.